Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel Study Holic. Let's begin with our next topic today that is stelia and flagella. I'll be discussing these two in individually, their structures, their function, everything, their movement as well. So without wasting our time, let's move on to the lecture. So have a uh, just the general discussion about the cilia and the flagella both. The cilia and the flagella are basically hair-like projections onto the surface of the cells. The internal structure of both of them is same, but they may differ in the size, number, and the pattern of movements. So I'll be discussing first about the cilia. The cilia are basically so. The size of the cilia is basically they are short and as a result due to the short size they are numerous. And their rhythm is basically they beat perpendicularly in metachronous or synchronous rhythm. So if I talk about the metachronous moment, what is the metachronous moment? Let's draw a row over here. This is a row. Here are the all cilia. Uh, no. These are the cilia. And when they move at once over here, this movement is known as metachronous movement. And if I draw another one, so the metachronous is known as when the cilia of a row beat one after the other, like this one will go there. This will then go there. One after other moment is known as metachronous moment. Whereas if a row of the cilia moves all together over here, it will be known as synchronous rhythm. Now let's talk about the flagella. Flagella are basically longer um, as the cilia were the smaller one. Flagella are longer one and they are fewer in number. Talking about their movement, they show undulating motion and beat independently. Now I'll be discussing about the structure of the cilia and flagella. Over here is the diagram of the both uh, the internal structure. It's showing the internal structure and I'll be explaining over here. So the infrastructure, the ultrastructure of the cilia and the flagella is same. So it consists of, each of them consists of longitudinal exonium. This arrangement is known as exonium. Let me write over here. Exonium. This one, exonium. The exonium is basically present in the uh, cytoplasm and the plasma membrane. It is enclosed in a spiral sheath. And that spiral sheet is made of the cytoplasm and plasma membrane. So the exonym is made of bundle of 11 longitudinal microtubules. Count over here, it is showing that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the central ones 10 and 11. How it makes? On the periphery, there are over nine doublets arranged in a ring and in the center there are two microtubules so nine plus two makes about eleven mm, over here nine plus two makes up eleven microtubules so this arrangement the nine plus two the arrangement of the microtubule is also known as nine plus two pattern so that was the structure of the cilia and the flagella that there was the exonium and where is the originating point? The originating point of the cilia and the flagella is basal body. This is the basal body and these basal bodies are basically embedded in the cytoplasm. So the basal bodies are shown over here and they have the same arrangement of the microtubule triplets as we have discussed in the centrioles topic uh, if you want to study the structure of the centrioles i am attaching the i link of, for the centrioles uh, lecture you can watch over it you will better understand about it here over here you can see these are triplets and these triplets make up the basal bodies 
so we have discussed about the structure of the cilian flagella now i am uh, moving towards the mechanism of the movement of cilia i have already discussed about it but i am discussing it in the further details it is the diagram that i have taken from the book it is uh, explaining the movement of cilia now let's discuss about it the movement of cilia is brought about by the contraction of the uh, fibrils as we discussed earlier the structure of the cilia and the flagella are same they are formed of the microtubules on the periphery there were over nine doublets i'm not gonna draw, draw over here so due to the contraction of these nine microtubules the movement of the cilia takes place how does this takes place the contraction of the nine fibrils takes place in groups these are the nine in first round five out of the nine fibrils contract the double fibrils and when the five fibrils contract the cilia bends or shortens as a worry it is shown this shortening of the cilia is due to the contraction of the five uh, out of the nine fibrils and this shortening of the cilia is known as effective stroke or the power stroke now the next one as you know after five four are remaining the four uh, fibers are remaining for the contraction and when the four out of the nine fibers contract the cilia becomes straight and when it becomes straight the movement takes place and this is known as return or the recovery stroke right so the five forms the power stroke and the four con uh, four fibrils contraction forms the return or the recovery stroke right five for the p and four for the r pr let's make a mnemonic now this was the movement of the cilia i'm moving on to the movement of flagella so for the movement the flagella movement is basically the waves of the bending are moved from the attached attached end to the free end these are the waves these are moving and when these waves go from the attached to the free end the movement of the flagella takes place and one of the example of the such movement of the flagellum is human sperms the human sperms basically show flagella movements and this movement basically propels them forward within the fluid medium of the female reproductive tract so that was all about the today's lecture hope you got it um if there's any confusion or my way of teaching is not right or should i change so kindly let me know in the comment section so now let's move on to our favorite session that is brainstorming they beat in metachronous rhythm cilia flagella wiley it's the easiest one yep it's the cilia now moving on to the next one which of the following is responsible for cyclosis microtubule microfilaments intermediate filaments none of these yep this was not from this lecture this was from the previous lecture so if you want to know the answer you can watch the video and then come to this one skip to this brainstorming and can answer the questions uh, so the answer is for sure the answer is microfilaments so the next one and the last one is cilia and flagella originate from base basal area basal body i'm sure it's, this is the easiest one yep it is basal body so thanks for having me in today's lecture and i really hope that you enjoyed watching the video and if you really enjoyed it, so show your love by liking the video. Thank you.